All right, here we go. How do you go? Hi. How's it going? Very well, thank you. Nice. We're back with our virtual bookshelf coding session. Um, and I believe it's already episode seven. Wow. Um, yep, it's actually been a while. And we left it off last week with a working delete button and a working create a new book dialogue that actually closes by its own. Uh, and that was very nice. And I think for today, what do we want to do today? I think today we want to edit a book. So the idea was to prototype like a create, read, update, delete application. And we're still missing the update part. So yeah, today I think we're going to try if we can edit a book. So we can add one so far, delete it again, um, fetch it and display it, but we can't edit it yet. So I think that's what we're going to do today. And I will share my screen. Very cool. Hey, Judith, can we also, as a little bonus, let's see if we get to it after editing. Yes. Can we, um, like currently, if you hit the trash can, it just goes away, <laughs> like immediately. Yes. yes. Can we have like a little warning? Are you sure thing? Definitely. I, I I was also thinking about that. We could even do it probably right now, super hacky, just using oh, yeah? like the the window alert thing. Is it called window yeah. alert? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So not like a not like a fancy UI component, but just like this ugly browser pop up. Um, do you know the syntax for that? Maybe. Really? Where is our delete? By the way, just window dot alert. Yeah, I was thinking that, right? So here window we have alert. our function on delete button click, or maybe is it like window dot confirm oh, no. something? Yeah, exactly. Alert just has one button, um, and confirm. Yes, confirm has okay and cancel do... by default. Yep. Okay, so what if we just say, are you sure want to permanently delete this book? <laughs> but what happens then? Um, so, I think it's um, it returns uh, a boolean. So we can um, say if window confirm. And then do it and else nice. um, just go away, so to say. Yeah. Use it as an early return, so to, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe like so. Toad. Mm -hmm. We could probably even just go, if not window confirm and then return. It's so actually say. working. I think it's just because I'm only sharing uh, a tab. I think you can't see it. Oh, cool. But that's, I think, all it took. So I think, awesome. Yeah. If we yeah. click cancel, nothing happens. Totally. If I click OK. Ah, it also deleted one. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, you also did. Okay. Because I was like, why is it deleting all of no. the books now? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay. 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 All good. Oh. Uh, and another episode okay. from Major Buck Hunting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. No, it's um, good. Mm -hmm. Nice. No, no, no. So it, it works. Perfect. It's, it's not pretty. I usually hate these uh, browser pop ups. Um, maybe later on, if we are. If we're feeling fancy, we could also replace it with one of the Shetzian components, with mm. like a little dialogue instead. But I think for now, just to yeah prevent accidental deleting, totally. maybe that's good enough. Yeah. I I'm absolutely just going to add agree. like one box so we see something. Nice.
What are you fixing? <laughs> I just thought that I oh, don't yeah, like how the eye is spread out. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's better. It's your eye desire fatigue. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay, good. Then let's look um, at that other icon, which does nothing so far. Um, perfect. So what I was thinking, uh, me. tell me if this is, if maybe it's not as easy as I'm thinking, but I would love to just reuse the dialogue we already have. Because if we look at our add a new book dialogue, mm -hmm. it, it's pretty, pretty much, much the dialogue we need for editing a book as well, right? It has exactly the same field. Mm -hmm. We would just have to change the title depending on whether it's add or edit and probably the button name. And the text below it too. We could also get rid of it. I think we just wanted to see what happens if you ah, right. add a we description to... To, a, to a form like that. I mean, but yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Let's reuse it. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. I mean, we are prototyping, but still, I think it's always nice to keep the code a little bit clean. So I would love to rename this component actually. Mm -hmm. um, to reflect that it can add or edit. So what do you think if we just call it book dialogue Very instead cool. of add book? Um, let's see if the sandbox is smart enough to do the renaming for me. No, but that's yeah. okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ah, I have to rename it here as well. Book dialogue. Seems ah, to work again. Here, you should also call it book dialogue. Yeah. And you want to pass in the text as props when you when you use it like the add new book stuff and so on or how do you want to do it um that's a good question hmm. i would like to pass as little props as possible actually hmm. um and what i'm thinking is if you want to edit a book we need to pass the book itself because we, if we want to edit a book, we want to display the fields that are already set, right? I so I'm thinking we could simply pass the book and if like as an optional prop, and if it's present, we know that it's edit and then we can change the title depending on whether or not we pass a book. And then we also have all the book properties available. Awesome. Let's do yes. exactly that. What do you think? Yes, much better. <laughs> um, so basically, I guess we just have an optional book here. As one more prop. Yeah, I'm really curious how we're going to do the, the transform me to snake case back and forth. Uh, Let's see. <laughs> yeah, true. Why is it not happy? Oh, I have to mm -hmm. click on it, I think. Well, down here, it's just unhappy. Oh, the... Cannot find I... the name book. But if I click on update import... Yeah, okay, nothing yeah. happens. Okay, I don't care. Then we have to be with ourselves. Uh, Online point. VS Code is still not the desktop one, I guess. At least not in Code Sandbox. Yeah, but it looks better. Um, cool. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Where do we have to somehow change stuff the title i guess 
<laughs> Where is it? Yeah, we can. I mean, ah. We have this thing. We can. I mean, we can just go. Since we're prototyping, you want exactly to, right. We can just go book. Yeah. Question mark. Yeah. And then be like, uh, what do you call it? Edit. Edit. Book. Edit book. Yeah. Book. Right or or this yeah. boop in a story. Yeah, and exactly. So we have that, and then we have it down here. Add book to library. We also go the book question mark, and we say update or like yeah, update book. Yeah, right. I like That's update. Better. Like now you're actually doing it, sort of. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we can. Let's kick the dialogue. Yeah. Okay. Come on. I mean, right. Yeah, it was All a bit right. misplaced. Uh, maybe let's try opening the dialogue from our edit icon just to see if it actually works so far mm -hmm. i would say yeah mm -hmm. uh, where was our edit icon probably in the book component right uh in the book component yeah yep. do we ah we have a console log in here cool so we have on delete button click then let's maybe do on edit Button click as well. Yeah. Oh, I think I just make the button more dramatic. I wonder if it can be destructive on hover. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Co authoring <laughs> code. Stop. I'm messing with you. <laughs> oh, I can't really see what you're doing but i see something bright red in the background i just i just <laughs> yes i was drawn by the destructive variant of the button <laughs> I wanted no, to I see what say. destructive means designers unleashed mm -hmm. oh yeah it's a little bit dramatic i wonder i i think i i kind of want the, the hover to be destructive you know that would yeah. be enough. I wonder how I can do that. But now, let's focus on editing. Making it pretty is going to be next episode. So <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Okay, let me think. What do we want to do on edit button click? First of all, we probably need <clears throat> the dialogue component in here as well, right? Oh, sorry. What did I do? I'm just going to copy that from our main app component where we are already opening the dialog okay. and put it into our book component as well. Uh, so we probably need to grab this in a fragment, otherwise it's going to give us this can only have a single element warning. Oh, yeah. Unsafe assignment of an any value. Ooh, ooh, what? What's going on? Um, the book dialogue, but this is because we don't have those functions yet, I guess. No. Yes, exactly. Right? This is like. <laughs> ah, okay, so now. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Something is a bit wild here. Do you see the flickering? Um, so the console is saying 
Um. Oh, are we still importing AdBook in here? Uh, no, book we're importing the the book dialogue. Ah. Okay. Wait, I need to think old. for one second because the book dialogue. Okay, it gets the is open property to open and close it. That's fine. Handle on open change. Hmm, what I'm wondering is, so right now I copied the the rendering of the book dialogue component to our book component. Name. Which means we would kind of render it in two places. One in the in the main app component when we click the add button. And then we have it again in our book component when we click the edit button. Mm. But if we want to ah. render it here, we kind of need to define all these functions in here. And especially like the handle on open change and so on, we already have that in our main app component. Can we? <clears throat> can we pass what? the? Can we put the book dialogue as a, as a child on the? No, that's the same thing as in the prop, right? Oh no, it's not. Mm. I was, I was thinking if instead of opening this book dialogue down here, we simply send an event back up to the parent component. What do you think? And tell it yeah. to render the component it already has there. Uh, but what would that mean? We would send like an like an event to say like, okay, open the dialogue. Yeah. But we would also have to send the book, I guess. Well, oh, we can do we that. Have to, exactly. So we have to figure out if we're passing the book or not. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, and then... We also have to say uh, what the handle on update change <clears throat> and handle on update books, what they do. Um, yeah. Right? So yeah. handle on up. Oh, no. Well, handle on open change is fine. Like we want to set the book dialog to open. That would actually be cool to not repeat because we have stayed yeah. for that already. Right? Yeah. And then the um, handle on update books is our handle update function, which just gets the books again. So we see our new stuff. That would also be cool not to repeat. <laughs> yeah. So actually... Our event only has to update is by is book dialogue open the yeah. state, so to yeah. say, because that will open exactly. the dialogue then. Yeah. And my yeah, so actually everything is cool, only that I don't know how we're passing in the um book or not into the book dialogue. But we like so the event should probably contain the ID of the book that we wanna <laughs> Or, or or the entire book data actually, so, hmm. because we have the book data in our book component. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And we kind of want to say, I mean, what we're in normal people's language, we want to like we're in a book and we want to say, this is everything we know about the book. Let me change it. Right. Hang on a second. So our I'm a bit confused because our file is called book and our component is called book item. But if, if we look at this code here, we are rendering one of these cards for every book that we have. So actually at this point here, we already have the book, like the one book we are rendering in that one card. Yes. So... We basically have that information available, I think. Oh, well, then the event could also just send the ID, right? Like, 
I want to edit I don't this think one the book. No. Event has to maybe maybe I'm lost, but I don't even think the event has to set anything. I think mm. the event just basically has to trigger what I'm um, so we would we would pass something uh like a function kind of handle on update book click it's a bit ugly but okay um and what would that do <laughs> handle on update book we can think of a edit better me. name instead Sorry? of click edit or something well, say that again, please. Uh, instead of click, maybe just edit, like handle on update book edit or something. On update book edit? Oh, no, that's weird. Or just handle on edit book. Yes, How about that? perfect. <laughs> nice. Yeah, because the update, like we're kind of using the update to get new data from the server, right? Yeah, that's also, I was confused actually myself by the terms we used last time <laughs> because now we, we are talking about updating a book but we also already have handle on update books but, it's, but it's, yeah, yeah so maybe it's actually good if we kind of keep calling this edit yeah. and then we could also yeah. replace the like the handle on update books um like with a refresh or something maybe refresh is better to to introduce a, a, another word than update there. I don't know. I'm out of yeah, time with this. Maybe. Actually... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Again, we're prototyping. It's not no. perfect. Um, but what I'm thinking, so handle on edit book. Yeah, Where would we put that? Uh, let's put it here. Congress handle on. And I was thinking that maybe, well, this would have to set the dialogue to open. What was it called again? Set is book dialogue open. True. Mm, and then maybe we have another piece of state. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Which kind of holds the book that we want to edit. Does oh. that make sense? Well, I don't. I mean, we have all the books anyway, and if we somehow yeah. know the ID, we can just go pick from that array. We don't even have to. I'm gonna show you what I mean, and then we can see if that makes sense. So, if we do something like selected book, set selected book, uh, state. And then we let specify the type. I would say there can be a book and probably it should also be null in case we don't mm. have one um, mm -hmm. for the add dialog mm -hmm. in particular. Um, so let's start with null. And then what I'm thinking, this handle on edit book maybe gets the book as a parameter. Yeah. Yeah, because we have that here. So if we just go and call the function with that book we already have here, like handle on edit book book. Ooh. But it doesn't like it. I know maybe because you called it the Please? same thing twice. Uh, Praises. You think so? And, or, hmm. mm, no, actually not. Please add mm. braces. Okay, I can try. Seriously? But why? I don't know. Well, now it's still complaining because we haven't defined that function on our book item yeah. properties. And then here, then uh, we would simply say set selected book to book. book. That's so cool. 
So we send a selected book and then we open the dialogue and then the book should be uh, somehow in the dialogue, right? I, well, mm, but I think the dialogue, does it end up in the dialogue? What are we passing into the dialogue? Well, we're not passing anything into the dialogue yet, yet, but we have already added the book property. So that's going to be a selected book, but now it's going to complain. And uh, so it can be undefined. I think it can't be null. So we could either change the property on book dialogue to be null or we simply say undefined. Yeah. So, let's recap what's going on. If we have a selected book, mm-hmm. which we should have when we click the edit button, mm-hmm. um, yeah, then we're going to set the selected book and then we're going to pass it to the book dialog. If we don't have that, for example, when we click the add new book button, we're just going to pass undefined, which is fine because it's an optional property. And then we don't need the book. What do you think? I, I totally. Um, I have yeah. two questions, though. Yes. Uh, first of all, like but, uh, instead of um, question mark undefined, can can we also like this is really designer's question? Uh, <laughs> could could our state that is currently of the selected book that is currently null can that be undefined? And we can just, you know, like not do the null thing or whatever. Like, can it be book or undefined? And then we just start with undefined. And then down here, we don't have to do the question mark thing. Probably. I think we could. And then just pass selected book. Yeah. And that's kind of a lead over to my next question uh-huh. that if we say add new book, um, then we probably need a handle function here, uh, on that, on that set, like on the, where we have the button with add new book, right? We currently mm-hmm. just have this in place function that says set is book dialogue open true. We should probably have a handler. Um, that removes the last selected book and sets it to undefined again, right? I would, yes, we could do a handler, which would basically just be this function. Um, mm -hmm. Because we are calling that again, yeah, in our handle on edit book. What I'm thinking Mm. is we already have a handler for handle on open change. Uh, yeah, I, think I my only... would actually prefer to to set the book back to undefined when we close the dialog, not when we open it. Yeah, even prettier. Right? Totally. So yeah, yeah. I'm thinking is what I'm thinking. Um, what do we do? Handle on open change. <laughs> That's kind of the function we use for both opening and closing. Right, but we can determine if it's open or close by this is open parameter here. Mm-hmm. So first we call the set is book dialog open, and then maybe if we say if not is open. So basically, if we are closing the dialog, we're just gonna set selected book undefined. Nice, nice. I love that. Yeah. And I mean, it might happen. So for example, if we have, if we close the add book dialog, we're mm-hmm. still going to set selected book to undefined, even though it was already undefined, but why not? Like doesn't matter. It really does not matter. So the important part is when we close the dialog, our book is back to undefined. Yeah. Um, and that's cool. So we can like, if we, even we, for some reason, have a third button that wants to do something with this form. You know, yeah. we never have to think about it because it's in a central place. That is really cool. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Um, 
but I think there was something missing to make this work. Yes, we don't have this property yet, I think, on our book item function. So maybe we add that. Mm -hmm. Handle on added book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now in the book, like we don't even need the dialogue and the fragment anymore, right? Yes, we can remove that. I love deleting stuff. Right? That's my favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm somehow always happier with pull requests where the where the red number of stuff you, de oh. you deleted. Yeah, is I love it. Bigger than the green one. Yeah, it's the best. <laughs> Cool. But so, okay, now we're going to do this. Um, huh? What are we doing now? <laughs> uh, we just have to call our function, I think. So we pass the handle on edit book. And we're just calling it are when you we... Are serious? Because, I think well, yeah. so. Like, because I, we have this the might book all already. not work, but I'm thinking... Might as well do Let's just see what happens. So we have no arrows for a second. Edit Gasp. Boy. I like this. I like this. Nice. So I think huh? this. What, what? What's wrong? No, but it's not showing the data yet. Yes, because, oh, because we're, we're not using doing that. that yet. Yeah, yeah, sorry. So we just, so far, we only changed the title and the button label. I get too excited for a second. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. Not quite. Awesome. <laughs> you did, blew it out of the water. Job done. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I think it makes, I, I always like to start with these kind of simpler mm. things, like changing the title or something. Mm -hmm. um, because as we saw first, like we or at least I thought about a different approach of kind of putting the dialogue into this other component. And then once yes. you start doing it, you kind of see like, ah, oh, it's a lot of duplicate code. Um, yes. So this way we, we started with the easy part, but I think now we have a nice way of passing our data around and opening the component. Um, yeah, but we have the book available in, ah, oh, no, we're not in the book item anymore. Whoops. Uh, now I guess we can go to the book dialog and actually do something with our data. What do you say? The book, yeah, because book item is done. The only thing we actually had to do here was to, to hook up the function on the button. That's yes. it. Yes. Yes. So, to, oh, yeah. So everything cool. we're doing right now is just, uh, opening the dialogue when we click this edit button and Amazing. changing the title depend. Oh, let's also check if it still works with add. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very cool. Uh, yeah. Nice. So but yeah, now... we're not actually displaying the data yet and we're also not updating anything yet. Yeah. Um, so let's think, where do we start? We have the book available. Uh, uh, hmm. uh. Maybe let us start with the default values. Mm. So let's say if we have a book. <laughs> could kind of do this, maybe. Book.title. Yeah, maybe a question mark after the book. Right. Does it? Nee. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yes. it's okay, just cool. it's slow. So, yeah. yeah, maybe does that make sense? And we do that kind of for all the, the default values. Book Are you dot. serious? And then it's kind of already done. And we don't even need the data wrangling because we already have it. Oh, my God. Uh, I mean, we have to, we have to change... Um, what we send to the backend, and we have to we have to call a different function from like in Superbase, because right now when basically this oh where is it oh we're the making update a new book one. button yes. 
um, is kind of the same as the create book. So if we click this button right now, it's mm. calling the create function in Superbase. So we kind of have to <clears throat> tell our function to figure out whether it's create or update. Nice. And yeah. That's, I think, what we still have to do. But let's first see if the default values would be displayed. Cool, yeah. No, I was uh, worried about the transformed values bit where we do the, uh, yeah. you know, that the was conversion. Ugly, right? and, yeah, I remember but, we did something ugly there. Yeah, and I thought we have to do it again, sort of. But since we're now just taking the book data and kind of pass it on as the default values, <clears throat> yeah. Then we already have all of that stuff. Which yeah, is I'm super hoping cool. we don't have to uh, do the transform stuff again. But we'll see. Mm. Full dot rating. Okay. Nice. We have that publication year. Yeah, what is up with that? Hooked. Uh, I think probably, okay, in our form, I think um, we are displaying strings, uh, even for our number fields, maybe. No, it's also not happy. Or the type type be... string or number is not assignable to type string or undefined. Ah, okay, so I have to... Yeah. Ah, okay. Let's try nice. that. Mm -hmm. uh, and the same for the rating. Oops. Dot. Editing. Um. String. Let's see if that works. No idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's first check if we see the data. No. We don't. Why not? Did it update? Like, oh. Try a refresh, you mean? I mean, that's also, let's see what comes in as the book, if that works. Yeah. In a, in a log, <clears throat> you know, like, let's see if we're getting mm -hmm. it from the selected book stuff. Right? Yes. So, okay. Whoop, uh, yoink. Can you see my console as well? Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's that looks it good actually. Work. It um, works four times. Then... <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's also this weird uh React dev mode where it renders stuff like at least twice, maybe yeah. more. Yeah, yeah. Um let's look at the form because I think in our form maybe we are also setting default values? No. Hmm. Form dot control. Form form form. So can we but if we just log the form that we just made, can we see the values that it put there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh no, we can. Oh, get values. We could probably to get values. Like we only get like all the, all the um, methods it has defined. Get yeah. values and and it was a. What I'm well, wondering is also if it's a timing thing. Like if our component, if this book dialog renders before we receive the book. You know, because we, we are only setting the default values once. Yeah. And let's say the, the dialog renders, but it hasn't received the book property yet then it's going to go to the empty strings for all the default values. And then if the book kind of arrives a millisecond later, we are not updating it. You know what I mean? 
Oh, you think? So I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not I'm super sure, to be honest, how this works. Like in which... Do we, do we ever, like I was just, so for the default values that we define on the form, right? Yeah. <clears throat> um, down in the form field and the form item and the form mm -hmm. control and then <laughs> the input, <laughs> um, uh, you know, like, do, are we actually setting the value of an input? Setting it? No, I think we're just connecting the form kind of yeah. as a whole. Because we're setting the placeholder explicitly, right? Yes, the placeholder, yes. And then we spread the field in there. And yeah. the field comes out of the render function. So I think function. the only thing that connects mm -hmm. it, really, so we are passing the our form to the form component. And then the, the thing that connects it to like a, a single property is the name. Mm. which is why we can't have typos, for example, in this name title. If I were to spell that wrong, I think it would immediately complain and say there's no field title on that form you defined. Oh, I see. Um, yeah. Maybe just to like test this theory, what I'm thinking is we might need a use effect. Maybe. I don't know. So we can try it maybe with just the, the title for now. I see. Um, so what I'm thinking is if the book property changes, mm -hmm. um, we're going to go. How do we change values in our form? Form dot <laughs> I don't know. set value. And then I think uh, then if the she oh i know what you're talking about so the use form hook kind of ran Absolutely. already we're gonna... yeah so we're gonna just oh title book dot title or empty string hmm like that. Yeah. Yeah. Missing dependency. Okay. Let's go. Cool. Yeah, but also, um, and like on my machine, there's all, all three fields are set already. Like it, for me, it says test book Jane Austen in 1950 in the dialogue. Like what if happens you if you click dialogue? edit now? Yeah. What? Also, if it does that, for, then it's absolutely your theory. Like then it's, I guess, you know, because I'm in a in between render state somehow, and it wild. It is yeah, wild, but like yeah. now for me, I see the test book, so that's good. Yes, but th that's the only one we set in the use effect. But you said for you, even before that, it updated all the fields with just the default value. Well, I don't know if before that, but for me, it's also author and publication year. But I guess like if I say add new book and add like a, you know, like I'm just going to add like a whatever, just a yeah. new book here. And then I go to edit, then it's the book title is correct now, but author and publication year is still Jane Austen of 1950. So it's absolutely what you said, like we're populating the form because before the book is ready to be picked from. So okay. let's do the use effect thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Then I don't know if there's a nicer way of doing this rather than setting all the fields manually. Uh, but I don't know. Um, maybe there's a set values or something. I'm just going to continue this uh, unless you find out something else that's prettier.
Ooh. I guess you can. There's an there's an update method that uh -huh. takes an object. Uh, that would be form dot update. I think so. And then it says, boom. Then it says zero as a first parameter and then comma and then the object with all of the keys and values. I don't have that on my form. You don't? Object. No. Do you have replace? Maybe control. Hmm. I don't know. You can use methods as replace an update for field array. Let's do your thing. I think it's, you know, it's fine. Yeah. We're just making it work for now. Totally. Okay, one more epic. Form dot set value. Which one's missing? Rating. Rating, yeah. <clears throat> hey, in that case, we can probably, um, we did. We didn't even have to touch the default values thing, right? Or do you think Maybe so? Maybe not. Yeah. So we don't have no. to do it twice. Probably we didn't have to do that. Right. Can just get rid of this. All of this stuff. Boink. To keep that noise and simple. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right. Cool. Let's see what happens. That nice. looks good. Value prop on input should not be null. Ah, I think I missed one for the description. It should be uh, an empty string if it's not oh. there otherwise we're gonna computers uh, are the worst <laughs> forms are the worst honestly F forms is uh, oh. there's this meme that uh, developers can't center a div but I think we're kind of over that we're, we're ready to hate on forms a little bit instead absolutely <laughs> developers can't use forms Let's just uh, make sure that it works for all the fields, maybe. Test description, adopted, rating, whoops. You mean that you can Fine. still type in, in them? No, I mean that all of the fields. Now, if I click on edit, ha, it did not work. No, no, hold on. But like, um, don't you have to click on the test book thing on edit? Yeah, like didn't because I do now that? you created a new one, right? Yes, right. There's a new book in town now with all of your I, things. I just, see, I I tricked myself here. Yeah, you were just talking about it. <laughs> yes, I I already clicked our update book button, yeah. assuming that it would work, but it can't. Well, at least um it's yeah. let's say a non-destructive edit because it just adds a new book <laughs> yeah exactly but that's exactly what i meant so i guess that's the part that's still missing but the good news is that at least all the fields take their default values exactly 
And it takes all of them and makes them into super base format and sends it as a new book. So really the only thing we have to do now is to, uh, to replace the create book with an update book. Exactly. I, right. I want to get rid of this console log. I don't get it anymore. Uh, yeah. Should we still do that? Absolutely. Let's do that. Um, um, um. Handle form submit. I think that's where we kind of go in. So right now we are always calling create book from our service. Mm -hmm. um, so here, basically we just have to check whether we have a book or not. And if we have one, we're going to call a update book function instead, but we don't have that yet. So let's write it, I would say. So let's and maybe jump. What if? Yes. No. <gasps> what if we have? What are create, you thinking? What it, like? I was just wondering if, like, on this, if we have a function that's create or update book. Uh, oh no, that's, that's the probably question. That's ugly, right? I mean, the question is where? Where do we want to make that decision? Do we want to? write a new function in our service that's update book and then we yeah, can yeah. decide in our dialogue which one we call or do we want yes. to have like only one function in our service which is create or update and then mm. it decides which super base function to call no i think that's so i I'm, I'm, I'm like i think we should have the crud thing in in the services right so everything else is probably like I can hear my my colleague Daniel in my ear saying, yes, "Yeah, stop messing with the API. It's ugly what you're doing." <laughs> I would also say so. I think it would look kind of nice if we just add like the the missing update book function here. Um, yeah. And plus, otherwise, if we had like a two in one function, we would have to pass another parameter to the service. And we would have saying, to. Yeah. The, like the find right, like the await super base from books insert, and then we have to kind of kafutzle around with that, so it's just going to be super ugly. Yeah, for the yeah, convenience yeah, yeah. of only you know passing in a parameter in our handle update function. So, anyway, let's totally do that. Yeah, now mm -mm -mm. we can guess what the syntax is. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's probably pretty straightforward. You can also, uh, look at the documentation, but it's probably just going to be, whoops. Supervisor. I'll go check. Oh, wait. Uh, Supervise dot. Oh no. Supervise dot from. Books. And then we don't want to insert. We want to probably, yeah, update. Looks right. Think, yeah. Insert or update is what the doc said. Update. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. And then we're going to pass. We already have this nifty object to snake function. Pass the book. Um. Except Your... that we are not returning anything, right? Yeah, I think that's just fine like that. I mean, I think we <clears throat> also, after our change in the last episode, where we're just fetching the books again, we kind of don't even need the return on the create book function either. Right? Yeah. So, Absolutely. I mean, we could have it for good measure or whatever for future proofing. <laughs> <laughs> but we kind of we kind of don't need it. Like we, right? We could just say it's like boolean success, done, true, nice, so to say, instead of data. Um, yeah. Yeah. I just realized, of course, we have to somehow update the book with the right ID. So we can't just say update book. We need to 
select one, I guess, to update. Um, so for oh, create yes. book, we are passing a book, but without the ID, because when we want to create one, we don't have an ID yet. But actually, when we are updating a book, I think we want to pass the book with the ID because we're going to need it to tell Superbase which uh, row to update in the table. Does that make sense? That totally okay. makes sense. Book. Uh, they have things here like ah, EQ, just... ID, and then one. Yeah. Like so, right? Kind of what we do when we are deleting a book. We're doing the same thing. Yeah. Nice. And then we can do this again, throw an error if we have one. And then I'll so... say data. Maybe we don't need for now. Cool. So we have an update book function. Perfect. And then basically here, transformed values. We can keep the transformed values, I think. And then mm. we're just going to send here if do something else. Uh, I would say do what we are already doing. Mm. Do, 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 do. Create book. It would be cool to to keep the entire then part for both I'm functions. I'm also thinking about that. But can't we just go await create book or await update book and then do the rest? Can we? We could. But that would mean our handle form submit function would have to be async. Ooh. Does that work? Can it be async? Or does it... Maybe not. Hmm. No, no, it says async arrow function has no await expression. So um, maybe it's, it's just fine. saying... That's fine, yeah. Look. Use it if you if you're making it. <laughs> yeah, so let's let's try it. So if we just say await, ah, uh, oh, I think we need to probably update book. Gotta import that, eh? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh no, it did the oh, auto did. import. I think. Await update book book. Okay. Oh, this validation is so slow. I always think I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> but in the end, it's all good. Maybe um, we actually do have to update to a bigger VM or whatever. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. And hey, then but you here, did. Yeah. And don't we have to still uh, like pass the transformed values into the update book thing? Oh, absolutely. You are so right. right. Just in both cases, we're just doing something different with them. Yes. But we right. are still using the, ah, oh yeah, the book is just the prop. Of course, it makes no sense to pass the book at all because that's the old values. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely right. Cool. So we're going to do it like this and then... We're basically moving this out of the then, right? Yeah. I think we can just delete the, the then. Yeah. We can probably have the catch also on the update book, I suppose. Like that. Fail to update I think that's book. like... Or is that... Uh, that's... Maybe so not allowed. <laughs> a bit of a, a wild mix between async await and then oh, yeah. catch syntax. So I think if we want to catch the errors with an yeah. await, we yeah. have to do a try catch block instead. Which we can. Ooh. Oh, yeah, cool. But let's, okay. Oh, okay, let's, what do we need? So this 
we are going to copy. Uh, for later, that would be the error thing. So we can just delete it. And then we're going to copy this part. This goes away. Chup. And then I guess outside of the if else, we can just do all of this. Mm -hmm. And then like this whole big thing, we can grab, I think, in a try catch. Ugh. Isn't this, this I, is much cooler anyway, no? <laughs> yeah, why, why, I, I was thinking that, I don't know, at some point it complained about the handle form submit function being async, uh, but maybe not. I mean, if it works, I'm, I'm super happy. And then oh. catch, we can put in console error. Bam. Bam. Uh, noise. Cool. Uh, let's try. Let's see <laughs> what happens. Test book updated. Update book. Uh huh. Uh huh. No. <laughs> Let's Did it work look at what's... I don't know. I want to look into the network tab for a second. Maybe you can check Superbase. Checking. No. It's not getting to Superbase. Okay, so I'm going to try it again, and we can look at the request. That's sent out. Oh, but Judith, it still has the um, the original book in here and not the transformed value. You know? Yeah. It's why I... uh, the, the update yeah. book doesn't like it. Yes, because I think we have to change, yeah, we have to change one thing slightly because the transformed values don't yeah. have an ID because the transformed values are all of our values from the form. Yes. So maybe let's, let's change the syntax of yes. our update book function slightly and instead pass the ID as a first argument. Yeah. So we're going to say update book with book ID and the transformed values. And Perfecto. then in here, we're going to say uh, book ID. Our book ID well, is a number, right? Or is it a string? I think it's a number. And you can also go like the book interface and then square brackets ID. Um, to pick the type from it if you wanted to. But it's the same thing. What? Like it's, uh, ah. you, you know, this thing Ooh, where you go like that's that. That's nice. True. It's a, a super nitpick. <laughs> it just, yeah. Um, it's book ID. Oh, yeah, and then it's right enough to figure out that it's a number. Cool. Uh, and then, but yeah, then the book again is going to be like of this weird type where we omit the ID. Because yeah. that's then just the transformed values, right? And down here, and then, we just yeah. write. Yes. Oh, but we're missing a bracket, I think. Oh, I hate it. Yeah, we are. This one. Yeah. Nice. Cool. I feel like this is the one you did. Is it? Is it? Oh, I think so. Let's see. Let's try it again. Test. Updated. Update book. Test book updated. Boom. Nice. And it updated the card right away as well. 
Yeah. Which is also nice because we're using the same handle form submit function. Yeah. And we already said once that function is called, fetch the books again and update exactly. them. Exactly. In the display. So we don't have to do that again. So nice. Cool. It is so cool. Cool. That ah, went well, I would say. Success. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, boop. Cool. I'm happy with it. I'm also very happy. I also made a made a book about toast written by you in the meantime. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's totally working on the internet, toast. people. <laughs> I love it. Some, some love medieval it book about toast. Um, very cool. Very cool. I think this is a nice place to stop. And yeah, I think, yeah. What do we have left to do? So we, we actually have an actual CRUD application now. We have accomplished we everything. We prototyped <laughs> everything. Um, but yeah, I'm not happy with what you did with that button. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I think it's super beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Now, I like the idea to to do it on Hover. I think that would be kind of cool. And I think there's so many like small tweaks we could make to make it look a bit nicer. So maybe that's what we do next time. Um, totally. Kind of, yeah, make it look a little bit more pretty. It doesn't have to win any awards, but just see. Cool. What we can mm -hmm. do with a little bit of tailwind, um, yeah. That's it. I think that would be fun. Right. In the spirit of our prototyping goal, I think that would be cool to to explore with um, <laughs> with how little tailwind I think we can make this. Um, well, look, not so janky um, and a little bit more attractive. I think that would be that would be nice, right? Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then let's see, let's see what we still want to do. I mean, right. We can still do the authentication part. We can still do the books in categories part. If we're going to go nuts, um, like all sorts of, of funky stuff. Um, yeah. And maybe if we, you know, like if we want to do like a total bonus round in the end, we can even make this, um, you know, we can put in the the tiny bits that are needed for for a real progressive web app so you could send yeah. this to your whoever you're prototyping for you can send them the link and say you know on your iphone you can just have like the little jumper icon and then say add to home screen and yeah. then it will even look like a real app and everybody will go like ah and you're like, yeah. Yeah, sure because it took me no effort and it's not the best developer so uh yeah we can play with all of that nice that would be cool cool sounds good perfecto nice then awesome yeah as see always, you next time um, i guess exactly see you next time if anyone has anything they want to know um let us, uh, please write, let us know, put your question on one of the channels and, um, and, and yeah, and we'll keep the, the train going. <laughs> Definitely. Cool. See you All next right. time. Bye-bye. Ciao, you did. <laughs>